Hi, it's so nice to have you here. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Fenya and I'm the Highland Witch. This last week I've been very productive and I really enjoyed the things I've done. So I thought I'm gonna take you along and show you, yeah, the, the results. On the 5th of April, me and my partner were walking in the Radish Vale Country Park and I can just highly suggest anybody who's in this area to go and go for a walk there because it's really beautiful. I not only have decided that I needed more shelves for more plants, but that I also like to buy a big pressure cooker. For that I needed wood. As requested of the universe, I got sent a little night table like this, which I totally took part, cut into size and remodeled it to a cupboard and a shelf. Except of the counter, all of my kitchen is actually recycled. I also decided to refresh my counter with dye and sealer. I'm an impatient person. So I thought I'm just gonna put a pattern on it and partly works well, partly a little bit rough, but I think it will be okay in the end.
I am aware that personal setbacks are not necessarily what people want to share. Vulnerability, be it your own or that of others, is often difficult to show or endure. But life is not an Instagram post, and actually, so I at least believe, we are all aware of this. Just because I can drive everywhere in my lovely van and stand there and spend the night, it doesn't mean that my life or that of other online people is only amazing. It doesn't just consist of amazing beaches, good food, beautiful people and perfect moments. Because these are just moments. I have many friends and familiars scattered over many countries and places. Now you can see the advantage in it. You can visit them wherever they are. But that can also mean that you don't even have a real community, that friends are all far away and I can't just easily go to visit them. And of course, Corona is a big reason for loneliness. Personally, I have the need to belong to, and I feel that van lifestyle is difficult for that case. The last two days, I haven't found great projects for distraction. The beautiful weather did not only drag me out, but also many other people. If I haven't already felt lonely, then at least now as I've seen these people happily together in pairs and groups. Van life can be exciting and beautiful. Maybe you meet new people on your travels. But living and traveling in a van can sometimes be really lonely. Fortunately, there are only three days left until my other half is with me again and I hope not long until lockdown will be lifted. I know my life is rich. I have amazing people who love me and take care of me and I have a beautiful roof over my head and I have the money to be able to afford good food. It is okay when I feel sad and maybe even sometimes depressed, but all in all, I am fine. as well as all of the details here quite proud of it finishing some customer requests getting my bike ready and cleaning my van to head off <laughs> 